It's Saturday and I just got back home from running some errands. And I thought I would do a grocery store haul because I got a lot of stuff. I wouldn't normally get this much stuff, but I haven't been in a really long time to the grocery store or grocery shopping at all. So I got 12 eggs from my local bulk store. Um, they didn't have like a 12 pack, so I had to get two six packs, which I'm going to start boiling water because I'm making egg salad tomorrow for a Easter brunch. And I actually got a request to make um, from Christine. If you don't know who Christine is, she's a really cool YouTuber. And I actually met her at in Silver Lake at a concert. Um, I was seeing Meat Bodies. It's like a garage rock. She was there, and I saw her, and I was like, I didn't, you know, I'm still kind of new to YouTube, and I was like, oh, isn't that Christine? To my friend, and she was like, oh yeah, and I was like, we should say hi. First introduced us to Glossier, and she's the one who, um, I posted a picture of my soy sauce eggs. I call them that. I don't really know the official name, and that's my water heater, sorry. Um, and yeah, so she was like, you should totally... Uh, make a tutorial how to do those eggs. So I'm gonna do that. If you like hard-boiled eggs or any type of eggs that you cook in the shell, um, cook them in vinegar because the shell will come off so much easier. I got a kombucha because I got, I didn't really feel like coffee because I haven't eaten anything all day. Um, but I saw the Vivant kombucha and I was like, ooh, that sounds good. Then. I got potatoes, which I need to wash, like little, they're not finger link potatoes, but I don't really know what they're called, because tomorrow I'm making potato salad with the eggs, egg potato salad. Got fennel, because I really like fennels and salads, and it's a really good like spring thing, I feel like. Got spring onions to put in the salad, some asparagus, because it's in season, asparagus is in season, so I thought I would just add like little pieces of asparagus for color and yeah um, shallots garlic ginger because I, I I don't think I ever go grocery shopping without buying ginger I add it to my tea I grate it into juice put it in sautés lemons you should see how dead this banana is. I don't even think I can keep it and use it for anything anymore. I'm really bad at composting. Like, I just don't have time to take care of it. It's, oops, I cracked one. Look at that one. It's because I cracked it, but it's kind of cool. And then I got, oh, there's another bag. Um, chia seeds because I like to make chia pudding and eat it for breakfast with some granola and yogurt and I like it better than just adding chia seeds directly onto my like whatever breakfast bowl. Oh, we're really keeping track of time. Um, all the jars that we've collected and we use them for instead of using boxes like Tupperware or when we go to the store we can fill up stuff. So I soak my eggs in a Tupperware with the sauce that I make. I don't think this egg is still good, but see? It turns like a brown color from the soy sauce. And see, it was a soft boiled egg. That's what I'll be showing you. I put the eggs in the Tupperware and that way I can correctly measure out how much I really need to be putting in. I put a little bit of cooking wine. About that much. Not quite half. Some soy sauce. 
it's majority soy sauce, so you kind of want to be generous. But and what you want to do, because I don't want to use this whole Tupperware and fill all my sauces. I just shake it every once in a while. I go look in the fridge and I I rotate them. And they already, once they hit the soy sauce, they already get color. It's really cool. And then, put a little bit of sesame oil. Just a couple drops, pretty strong. And some apple cider vinegar. Mm. Could use more soy sauce. shake them up and then you're done you could use um yeah oops this one cracked because it, it's kind of too small of a container but you get the point super easy um sorry it's not like measured out but mostly you just want to put a type of vinegar so it penetrates the egg and soy sauce you can look up recipes, they're all going to be different. You can maybe even put like a little bit of beet juice or put like a couple pieces of beet in there and it could turn the eggs a little bit like pinky red. So last night I made some cold sesame noodles. I didn't finish it all, I wasn't that hungry, it just felt like cooking something. So I don't really want them, mm, they're kind of good cold. But I kind of want to saute them, so I'm going to saute them. 